guys. Yes, ask a Carlos H. Tata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today, we're going to be making a delicious vegetarian main course. We're going to be making Mediterranean style stuffed zucchini boats. They're going to be filled with spinach and feta. They're going to lay on a bed of tomato sauce. They're going to be cheesy, delicious. You will not miss the meat. Let's get started. So we're going to need three zucchinis. I've already prepared two and we're going to demonstrate what we're going to do with one. Cut it uh, lengthwise in half. And then you can use a little ice cream scoop or a spoon and just carefully take out the inside of the zucchini. We're going to use this for the filling so nothing will be wasted. And be careful when you're scooping out uh, the flesh because you don't want to go, you don't want to take out too much because then it won't um, hold together once it's filled. And we're going to bake it first. So just take out the pulp but leave a little bit of a border. And then go ahead and put them in a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. We're going to drizzle a little bit of oil over them and then I'm going to brush the rest of the oil all, all around. Just a couple tablespoons. Try to keep one of your hands dry so that way you don't have to, so that way the salt doesn't stick all over them because we are going to sprinkle salt on top of these so they have lots of flavor. My oven is preheated to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and these are going to bake until they're slightly golden and until they have softened. It usually takes around the same time, about 10 minutes or so until the filling is ready. Keep an eye on them. All ovens vary and they're all different. I'll show you what they look like as soon as they're done. Once I put this in, we're going to get working on the filling. So I'm just going to roughly chop the zucchini, the flesh. And I'm going to add it to a pan that's heating over medium heat with three to four tablespoons of olive oil and some salt. And we're going to cook it until it's really nice and soft. So once the zucchini starts breaking down, then we're ready for the next step, which is garlic. I like to grind my garlic and freeze it. So this is a little bit less than a teaspoon, which is going to be one or two garlic cloves. And you know, when it comes to garlic, two is always better than one but you're making it for your family, so adjust it to however you prefer it. If you like one, just put one. And just put it in there for a few seconds. The, heat, the oil is hot and you don't want the garlic to burn because it's so finely chopped. Next, we're gonna add the spinach. So I roughly chopped eight ounces of baby spinach and I'm gonna put them in here. It might, look, it might look like a lot, but if you've cooked with spinach, you know that it wilts down to almost nothing. So you can definitely put it in all together if it fits. If it doesn't fit in your pan, then once it starts to wilt, add a little bit at a time until it's all wilted. And then we're going to take it off the heat. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt because if you season as you go, um, your food is going to be very, very flavorful. And just like that, the spinach has wilted down. Everything is just the way it needs to be. I'm going to take this off the heat so we could add the remaining ingredients in. So we're going to add a teaspoon of dried dill, a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes, and these are optional, some black pepper, and then I have some shredded mozzarella. Uh, you can use cream cheese instead. This is six ounces of shredded mozzarella. You can do six ounces of cream cheese if you want it a little more creamy. And crumbled feta cheese. Always buy the block feta and crumble it yourself. This is another six ounces of cheese. And mix everything up. You can break up the big chunks of feta. and the heat is gonna to start to melt the mozzarella. The reason I love adding mozzarella is because you get that stringiness in the filling, and it just adds another texture and just makes it taste so good. But if you prefer it more creamy, like I said, do the cream cheese. If you wanted to, you could also throw in five or six uh, chopped sun-dried tomatoes. Give it a little taste. Mmm, this would make a really nice dip. So I'm going to set this aside and then I have some Kalamata olives. These are pitted and I'm just going to roughly chop them because half of the zucchini boats are going to be topped with these and the other half aren't because 
Some of the kids in the house don't like olives, so I'm just going to leave some plain and some with the olives. So the zucchini is ready basically at the same time that the filling is, like I said before. They should be fork tender. And if you want more color on them, you could definitely turn the broiler on for the last few minutes. But this is good enough because they are going to go back in there and bake a little bit longer once they're filled. Go ahead and take them out of the pan. And for a nice shortcut, I'm using store-bought pasta sauce. I'm going to put a recipe on the, on the blog post if you want to make your own. It literally takes about 20 minutes to put together with just a few basic ingredients. Then go ahead and put the zucchini back in over the sauce, back into the pan over the sauce, that is. And if you prefer bechamel sauce, you can make some bechamel sauce or leave the sauce out. But I love the contrast of flavors. The um, filling is nice and creamy and rich, and the sauce kind of helps break that richness up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the filling inside. So now go ahead and fill the zucchini boats with the spinach and cheese filling. I have a tiny bit of filling left over. I'm just gonna save this for snacking. You can dip some vegetables in it or just eat it like that with a spoon like I'm gonna do. Then you can take the Kalamata olives. If you're using, if you want to put Kalamata olives in all the boats, then by all means, go ahead and sprinkle them on top. You can even put, if you prefer it in the sauce, if you prefer the olives in the sauce, you can sprinkle them on the sauce, however you like. We're just going to do three with the olives. And then for a little bit of crunchiness, I have these pine nuts that I'm going to sprinkle on top. They're going to toast while this is all roasting and they're just going to get nice and crisp and nutty and delicious. Now you wanna make sure that the, you reduce the temperature of the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna go in and bake for about 25 or 30 minutes. Then let it come out and rest for a few minutes and it'll be ready to serve. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as we're there. The zucchini boats are ready. I baked them in the oven for 30 minutes. And for the last three or four minutes, I turned the broiler element on just so that way the tops can get nice and golden and the pine nuts can get really nice and toasted. It is time to take a bite and I'm gonna try the one with the olives because I really like olives. And it's really nice and soft and tender. Mmm. Delicious. The zucchini is perfectly cooked. The filling is so creamy and cheesy. The sauce really makes it really nice and light and also adds a contrast and flavor because tomato sauce is much lighter than the creamy, cheesy filling. So it goes good together. The Kalamata olives add a little bite. The pine nuts are nice and toasted and a little bit crispy and crunchy. I think you guys are gonna love this. You can substitute eggplant instead for the zucchini and it'll come out just as delicious. It would even be nice with uh, bell peppers. So those options are there for you. I'll put them all on the blog post so you can check it out at demetriusdishes.com. All, all the ingredients and the exact measurements, all of that stuff is gonna be on there. Let me know what you guys think in the comment se section down below and I'll see you back here with another recipe really soon. Yes, us.